Hello grade 10 learners! Have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you how to find the arc length of a circle. Before we go on with the example on how to find the arc length, let us try to understand first about arc length. Arc length is the distance between two points along a section of a curve. So if we have here a circle, circle C, we have here arc, arc, A, B. Talking about arc length, that is the distance from point A to point B. Or in other words, we will be determining the length of the arc. So in here, our arc length is this one from point A to point B. Now, the length of an arc can be determined by using the proportion A over 360 is equal to arc length over 2 pi r, where this symbol cursive for letter L, small letter L, that is arc length and a this one refers to the degree measure of the arc while r is the radius of the circle of course we all know that pi has an approximate value of 3.1416 okay with this proportion we can actually shorten the solution okay we can derive this proportion so we can have right away the formula in finding the arc length. So once we multiply this or cross multiply, we will have 360 arc length that is equal to a2 pi r. Then we have to divide both sides of the equation by 360. So we'll have arc length is equal to 2 a pi r. We can still simplify this further because we have here 2 and 360 can be factored out as 180 times 2. So we can divide the common factor which is 2. And finally, we will be using this derived formula, arc length. So in here, in our numerator, we only have a pi r. In our denominator, we only have 180. So instead of using this one, because this is quite long, okay, I give this derived formula already to you for your guidance. So we will be using this formula in finding the arc. Now let's have example number one. Find the length of arc AB in the given figure below. We have here circle C, where the radius is equal to 20 centimeters. And we have also here the value of the central angle, which is 60 degrees. If the central angle is 60 degrees, then it follows that the measure of this arc, arc AB, which is the intercepted arc, is also equal to 60 degrees. So we have to determine the given data. So we have the measure of the arc is 60. Next, our radius is 20 centimeters. And of course, we will be using the approximate value of pi up to four decimal places. So we have 3.1416. Now by formula, this is the derived formula and I derive it especially to my dear students to shorten the solution. So arc length is equal to substitute or A is 60, then pi is 3.1416 multiplied by R which is 20 centimeters 
Then copy the denominator which is 180. Now we have to multiply. 60 times 3.1416 times 20 centimeters that is equal to 3769.92 centimeters. Copy the denominator 180. Now let's divide. 3769.92 centimeters divided by 180 and that is approximately equal to 20.94 centimeters. So this is now the approximate value of our arc length. Again, we are using this symbol. This one means approximately equal to because we do not get the whole value of our pi. We get only the value of pi up to the four decimal places. So this is now the value of our arc length, 20.94 centimeters. Let's have example number two. An arc of a circle measures 45 degrees. If the diameter of a circle is 12 centimeters, what is the length of the arc? So let's determine the given data. We have here the value of A, the measure of the arc, which is equal to 45 degrees, and the radius is 6 centimeters. Where did we get these 6 centimeters? Where in fact the given here is the diameter. Remember that the radius is half of the diameter. So if we have here 12 centimeters, we have to divide this by 2 to get the value of the radius. So 12 centimeters divided by 2, that is equal to 6 centimeters. And we will be using again the approximate value of pi up to 4 decimal places, which is equal to 3.1416. So the formula we have, arc length equals a pi r over 180. Now let's substitute our a is equal to 45. Approximate value of pi is 3.1416, and the value of r is 6 centimeters. Then you copy the denominator 180. Now we will multiply 45 times 3.1416 times 6, that is equal to 848.232 centimeters. Then divide by 180, so we have the approximate value of 4.71 centimeters. We'll just round our final answer up to two decimal places or in the hundredth place. Thank you so much for watching guys. Kindly like and comment if you have questions or clarifications regarding the video. Kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. Romans 8 verse 28 That's all for today. And God bless you all.